Doing a business in any kind of business, the stakeholders are quite important category. And as I found out quite so many years ago, the most important stakeholders are the people that you work with, either your partners or your employees and different kind of involvement you can have. When you start a business, it's usually started as a project. And we discussed the innovation part, and every project starts with a dream. So we have seen the dreams on the first day, we have voted on your dreams, and now we are working on, on some of the dreams you have. And the problem is that a lot of dreams, they stay in the stage of dream. Why? We don't know. But it's important that you have a dream. And if you think it's viable or, or not, it could be a nice thing to discuss it with others. So this is the first thing, because we have a lot of different dreams, and some, they're truly amazing. But if we don't follow, if we don't share them, then it's just 10% uh, of probability that you will go from the dreaming stage into the planning stage. So share your dreams with your friends, share your dreams with your colleagues. This is how the big ideas, the really important ideas grow. So when you come out of the dream stage, you have to do some planning. Depends on how deep you want to go with it. <coughs> we, we do some planning here. You, you have seen, many of you have seen some planning before. Many of you already run some businesses. The planning part is important. So going directly from dreaming to doing, you will do too many mistakes. You will learn on mistakes. That is a good thing, but you will lose a lot of money, lots of, lots of energy, <laughs> might lose some friends as well. Because, and this is the most, the most important part the most, most important mistake people make. Just going from dreaming to doing. So some small part of planning is, is a wise choice to do. And yeah, when you, do, when you do your planning, you will also try to put your vision, like you did in small groups, into some collective vision. And afterwards, when you will move from the project phase into operational phase of your project, this, is, this will be a very important part. So in the planning stage, one of the things you can do, it's also quite an important one, if you consider some new methodologies, how you will run your business, is also to define your, I call it, global meaningful purpose. So it's a it's, it's combination of a lot of stuff that most of the members of the, of the project team, of the, of the partners, or the employees relate to. So if you will have a group that relate in one direction, and that can relate your personal vision, personal purpose that you have into your collective, into your business, the business will be pretty much, much more successful than, than otherwise. And whenever you will do the doing phase and you will move to the production stage, you will have a lot of operational work. Don't forget to innovate further. So to, to think about maybe you, you can improve something, you, you can do something differently, and we call it, in the Dragon Dreaming methodology, we call it celebrating. You can celebrate. You have done something, and you can improve it. So this is the, the circle you can do and, and improve your business even more. <coughs> As I said, for me, most important part of the, of the business are people. Are people that I work with, are people that I, I, I have partners. They're also important as the customers and as the suppliers. As I found it, the people I, I work with every day, this is the most important part of our business. And we can select different team members on our stage of development on, on a specific subject that we need to cover. So in general, we have, as we say, the, the four stages, dreamers, planners, doers, and celebrators. And actually, we need all of them. There are some categories for people that do not stand well with, with the others. You know? so the, the planners and doers don't really like the celebrators, you know? And the doers don't like the dreamers, but dreamers don't do anything, they just dream, you know? <laughs> but they forget that everything is about a dream. Your business, your stuff you do, it's about your dream. So the dreamers are also important to improve your business. It's just important that you have, in projects and in operations, different people that do all the stuff. So if you just have doers, you will do your operations as usual the next 100 years, and then you will have problems, maybe not in 100 years, maybe a little bit before, like in 10 years. And <coughs> when you select your team members, it's also important, I just put up some, some 
guys that you need in aquaponics. So first of all, you need someone that can take, take care of fish and someone that take care of plant and someone that take care of sales. And the next one is someone that take care of production. And some of them can mix, but some of them don't. And usually the fish guys and the plant guys don't mix. I have never met in my career, I'm doing aquaponics like two years now, I have never met a guy that is good in fish side and in plant side. So that's when you do your plants, at least two persons you will need for those, for those guys. And then you, you have to organize team. If you want to be sustainable and you want to make a, a let's call it new age uh, company, you may also think how, you go, how, you, how are you going to manage your team or your whole organization. It depends how big it grows, but if you do a successful business, it can grow up quite big. So we have, I just defined two, two stuff. We know the management in classical way. You have a boss, you have people, boss tells us what, what they have to do and they do it or not. And you have also some other methods like self-organization. If you have set a good global meaningful purpose and the people are all watching in the same direction, like you use the hats, you know, using the red hat, you all look in the same direction. But if you have this kind of organization, you, you may consider some other options because if people are motivated by the pay on the end of the month, or if they are motivated with, if you don't do it, I will, I will fire you. This is a different kind of approach and the motivation is lower and the effect is lower, much, much, much lower. So doing it in self-organized way, people are much more motivated. And you have, if you will set a proper strategies to do it, then you, you might have a much greater success and you will need less people, they will do the work, and they will be happy. <coughs> so this meaningful purpose, it's a very important thing. This is a direction where you want to sell. So if you want to orient on the fish side, you might have one direction. If you orient on the plant side, another direction. If you just orient to to teach people how to live more sustainably, how to use aquaponics. Is a, this is one way, but the direction is different. So you have to be aware where are you going. And yeah, one of the things I will just mention, it's, it's also very important, it's a communication thing. So when you use communication between members, conflicts are necessary. You have to be aware that the conflicts are not always something you have to fight about. The conflicts are good because from conflicts, there come new things. If we will not have the conflict with the nature, maybe we will not know that we are running out of the fossil fuels, that the phosphorus is, is, is uh, in scarcity. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that we don't know. We don't. So take conflict as a good thing. Just try to resolve it in the proper manner. And here are some beware operation and risk stuff. What you have to be aware First of all, what we have found out already is that aquaponics, it's not very easy in the technical part to manage. There are a lot of different stuff that you have to be very aware. We have seen the tomatoes in the agur, <laughs> now having the problems that three days with no water, there, is, there was no management. If the three days, there are no people in your aquaponics system, it may be something that you have to consider checking over, I don't know, over a webcam or something like that. You can use simple technologies or very, advanced technologies, but be aware that this is not an easy system to monitor and to, to maintain. You also need resources, not only the humans, you need, you know, if you have tomatoes, you need some packaging material, stuff like that, and you, have, you will have to, to deal that in, if you will have to do it in a real plan, you have to plan that too. One of the key, one of the key points is also harvesting. When we plan people and our resources that we need, when we do harvesting, if you do it two times or three times a week, and you do it manually, you might need a lot of people. And you have to be aware of that before that. If you, if you run this operation on somewhere quite remote, sometimes it can be quite difficult to get, I don't know, 10 people, 20 people that you need to harvest something. Also, the distribution channels are quite important, but you have been dealing that within, within your business plans. The employees need trainings, and the employees need operations manuals. So you have to know Maybe you know what are you doing because you're in the project from the start. But the people joining later, they might, might not know what, what is the operation stuff. How to cut something, how to kill a fish, how to do stuff. So you have to provide manuals, you have to educate people. People do know how to operate if they are well educated. 
We have already spoken about the risks, so I'm not going that any more detailed. You have discussed the risks, and we have seen it. And yeah, one one thing is to to maintain to maintain a good relationship with the customer. So this is also in the in the business plan as a separate thing, but it's very important that you from the start know how you will manage the customers because when you get in a hurry, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough people, you forget about managing the relationship with the customers. And as far as I know, the storytelling is, is important. Aquaponics is a new technology. It cannot compete on the price only methodology. It cannot compete on some other things with the big producers. It can have different markets, but from my perspective, it's important that you make a story out of it. And this is your story now. Thank you.